Hello! Welcome to this really old title screen that I have not seen in ages. So, Flood Warning is done. I asked for recommendations of other holds uh, on the last video, and had already been getting some in the previous one. So I have an enormous list of things that people have recommended. Um, looked through it for a while, thought about what to do. Uh, Smite Master selections were the plan. I learned a little bit more about those and where they fit in the chronological order. So I have chosen to play Perfection by Larry Merck. On the path to Rooted Hold, Beethro encounters a strange institution. Ah. Just wanted to take a moment and appreciate that. Okay, so I expect this to be a really good time. Let's find out. Apparently this takes place chronologically right after Journey to Rooted Hold, if the uh, list that I found is correct. After following the ro road to Rooted Hold for many days, Bethro comes upon a peculiar edifice. I hope Rooted Hold's not far, because I'm plenty hungry. Hungry like Dugan late for Mucklemus. Ah. It's good to hear your voice, Bethro. Perfectionist complex ahead. Perfectionist, say. Eh? Entrance to the Perfectionist complex is 80 paces from this point. 80 paces? They counted it out? Fracking weird. <laughs> That's 41 by my count. 42. There's some gate blocking my road. Maybe I gotta go inside to open it. 80. <laughs> yep, that's it. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is going to be quite a detour. Welcome to our complex. We deeply care about numbers and symmetry. Yeah. Welcome to your, uh, complex. I deeply care about you opening the gobbing gate so I can leave already. The gate controls are in the observatory at the top of the complex. While visiting... Perhaps you will enjoy the many masterpieces hey, of... you guys got any food here? Perfection is its own sustenance. Thanks for nothing, buddy. Aw, so Beether's food supplies are already running low. I remember that being mentioned in the in the ending sequence of Journey to Rooted Hold, but... He's only been down here for like a few days, hasn't he? Perfect one. The complex is dedicated to the design and development of the most perfect puzzles from a per Perfection Complex brochure. Okay. Go that way, come back that way after solving a room. One serpent. Uh, trapdoor gate. Drop all trapdoors, but first I want to talk to him. At perfection, we have numbers for everything. Sure, why not? Welcome to floor number one. Will he talk to me, I wonder? Let's find out. No, I guess that was it. Uh, I have a minor problem. How kill serpent? There. No problem. All right. Anything? Nope. I could go north. I'm going to go south. Hold it. Just out of curiosity. Oh no, you mustn't leave yet, the administrator replies. Please take a tour of our entire complex first. <laughs> Alright. For some reason, these are giving me the impression of noses. That's not what they are, though. This is a seep, and this is a tar baby? That's obviously a roach. Is that a seep, or am I misreading that? I don't know. Roach queen manipulation to the west. Serpent timing to the south. That's a serpent. Tar mud efficiency to the east. Why did I think that was a seep? I mean, they're, they're shaped vaguely like that. 
Those all sound like good times. I'm gonna go for the Roach Queens. Right, so this was in the journey to Rooted Hold days, so I can have a certain expectation for which game elements I'll be seeing here. I feel like I got to know Roach Queens pretty well with the previous stuff that I did. Okay, so you're not gonna spawn on those trapdoors. What do you need? What do I need to do to you? I need to get you out here. Right, this was before the days of even hot tiles. So the obvious path of this means failure, because you'll just get stuck here or here. So I need you to spawn roach babies. Ooh, and I gotta deal with them too, and they... Oh, oh, fun. Okay, so what I probably want to actually do... Actually, what do I want to do here? What I actually want to do is see what Beethro says if I mess up. He says nothing. Okay. There's often dialogue for that sort of thing. Yeah, all right. So I gotta convince you to come out here. Which is gonna mean going through there. Okay, all the spaces I don't want to step on are marked with the alternate floor. Don't want to let the roach step on. Okay. This is kind of in the way. Um, hmm. The thing I don't like is I can't let her spawn anything. I'm used to moving these things around with, uh, with the ability to spawn roach babies included. That's not true. I can get roach babies out of there just fine. Kinda. I can certainly queue them up here, come over this way, pull them up over that lip a few at a time, but then... Ooh, one at a time. So one over there, get it in there, go around that way, it goes there, and then I can get it out, yeah. For the Roach Queen... So you want to just go in there. That's actually set up exceedingly well for that. So let's start by seeing what happens if I do this. Are you going to make it? I don't want to push you south from here. I'm going to let you naturally go all the way in. Good. All right. So next, we'll just put you nowhere good. That's not necessarily true. Now, hang on. That's enough turns for me to turn her northward. Let's do that. Uh, is it, though? Yes. Yes, that'll work. So all I gotta do... is this. Oh, whoa. Or maybe this. That sounds good. Okay. Then from there you go that way, and then I'm gonna turn you north and then back south into that at some point, okay? This seems... It looks a little bit intimidating, but I think it's fairly basic. I went the wrong way around. Oops, okay. So I have just enough turns to get... Uh, no, 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 not yet. Okay, so I want to go south when you're one, two steps further ahead. Then north, 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 north. South. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, I need to, need to do that slightly differently. And definitely not like... Well... Yeah, no, definitely not like that. I wait one, then go. Good. Okay, so you need to land there. You're going to keep going, though, so I need to time this one carefully. Uh, then I need to hurry. Like, really hurry. Uh, 
our right. So this means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 20. Okay. Now, can I actually hurry fast enough to do this? Yes. Neat. I want to stay here. Actually, I don't have to. She's on an arrow. Okay. So just one room on this branch. Okay. Let's go south for serpents. I get an invisibility potion. Okay. Oh, uh, wait. I see. Align all of them going northward into this area. Go here, drink invisibility potion, hit orb to close those when their heads are halfway in and they all die. I can only really move horizontally here. Oh, oh, I need to know how serpents move for this. Remind me. This is a form of serpent manipulation I have not had to directly do yet. I understand what I need to do, but I need a reminder of the details. Uh, this is not the right page. I want mechanics. Serpents. Where are you at? Red serpents, rattlesnakes, and that matters. Okay. See if players directly in front of or behind continue moving that direction. First five turns prefers horizontal, next five prefers vertical. So 1 through 5 horizontal, 6 through 10 vertical, right? Okay. So first half horizontal, second half vertical. Every 5 picks a square. Now, how does the... Ooh, wait. Which are the two squares horizontally adjacent to its head? It's closer to the player. Uh, okay, got it, got it. So it wants to come toward me based on its preference. If it's in the same vertical, mm hmm. If it's thinking vertically, it does the same thing, mm hmm, sure. Tries to move if that square is blocked. North, east, south, west. Okay, I th think I get it. North, east, south, west. Horizontal, vertical. Horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical. I can make like a little cheat sheet with like that, that written in each section. <laughs> I should do that. That would help me a lot. I'm totally going to do that after this. All right. So, I need you to prefer vertical, so I need to wait for six. And then... Ooh. I could just rush in and hope it works out, but I want to actually calculate this out and understand what I'm doing, because it's, it's well past time for me to actually be able to reason properly about serpents. If I allowed you to have a horizontal preference... I think you would go this way rather than going this way. Because this is blocked, this is not. You prefer horizontal, northeast, southwest. So I think I'm going to let you prefer horizontal again, and you'll go there. Yes. Now, vertical preference means you're going to go south, and that's... Well, what I should really just do is walk forward. Well, and then you're going to go north. Okay, at this point, I'm going to see what happens if I just walk forward. You're going to go this way, and then you're going to go that way again, so that's no good. Interesting. So wait, you're, you have a vertical preference now. No, wait, what did I do here? You have a horizontal preference. Why are you going north? Horizontal, vertical, 
horizontal. Okay, here's a behavior I don't understand. Sorry if this is a bit slow, but I really need to actually understand this all the way. Why are you choosing to go north instead of... Well, because... Well, yeah, yeah. Why are you choosing to go north instead of east? I'm not... Failing this... Mm -hmm. First five... Mm -hmm. Picks a square into which it wants to move. If it's thinking horizontally, it picks which of the two squares horizontally... Oh... It wants to move into its tail. It's not going to continue thinking horizontally after that. It'll... It sees that that space is blocked, then reverts to its preference, so it goes north. Got it. Got it. So I think I actually want to move you all the way down here before I do any of that. So I need vertical preference. Now should be fine. And I should just be able to kind of charge in and get this to work now. Except no, you're going to come toward me, so I need to... Th I need you to go this way, come down here, land there when I'm standing here, then you go straight north. You are switching from vertical to horizontal on your next turn, and you're going to come this way, and that's not what I want. Alright, at this point, I'm tempted to just improvise. I think I get the rules. I think improvising is going to be quicker. Why did you go that? Oh, right, right. I understand. Okay. Well, that's fine then. No, it's not because you prefer horses. Okay. I can step this way and you'll go north. Alright. Good enough. Okay. I need to be more carefully calculating for you, don't I? This is the easiest setup because the direction you don't want to go is west, and that's the lowest priority in the secondary movement order. Alright. So what's my plan for this? I need Serpent to be against this wall, moving horizontally when I'm standing here. If it goes in here... I can still recover and pull it back out. In fact, that's by far the easier way to do it. And yeah, if any of those go in there, I can pull them back out. I am being way more careful about this than I need to. This can be extremely simple. Oh! The invisibility potion. Never mind. That's, that's false. Got it. Okay, so I do need to calculate this. Good. Alright, so... Uh, you need to be moving horizontally along this wall when I'm there. I can't ever send you through that passage or that one or either of these. That means, ideally, I would want to move you east, then south... and then stand here. Okay, so to move you east, you are currently preferring vertical. Uh, oh, horizontal in the wrong direction. Oh, so I need you to prefer vertical for a turn. Then, no, no good. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I gotta do some trickery here. Ooh, no matter what your preference... I need you to hit this wall for... Oh, this is actually a lot more complicated than I thought. So if you were to hit that wall... Then need your preference to change to vertical like that, except it's horizontal right now. So wait. Oh. Oh, because east is... Okay, got it, got it, got it. Okay, so I can work with this. All right, so you are currently vertical. That's good. You'll go north. Horizontal, good. You'll go that way. 
Uh, that's not what I need, though. One, two, three, four. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I need to switch from horizontal to vertical on this tile. So horizontal, vertical, horizontal. Vertical. You're there. If I go now, I think it's perfect. Mmm, you went the wrong way, of course. Because you... St wait. Horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical. Gotta wait. Okay, now... I need to wait until... 23. I was wrong. I needed to wait until 22. 20, 21, 22. Right. Right, of course, because 5 is where it switches. It's 0 through 5, not 1 through 6. Or, you know what I mean. 0 through 4, not 1 through 5, that's what I meant to say. So I go here and everything works. Cool. Cool. Alright, I like that this hold is teaching me new things about serpents. And, well, yeah, game mechanics in general already. So... You. I need you... going like that. That ought to be simple. You are currently vertical. I want you horizontal. So, really just doing this ought to be good enough, shouldn't it? Wait. I went too fast. I need to slow down. Oh, wait, wait, no, no. What's... I'm moderately confused, but that worked out. Alright, I could have done that a little bit more precisely, but good enough. Hold it. Oh! Unforeseen complication. I need to time this carefully. I need... Oh no. Okay. I need horizontal for a turn, then switch to vertical. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, that will do fine. So I need to wait until... I need to go right now. So that was one turn horizontal, now it's vertical. Perfect. Perfect. Perfection. Oh, that was cool. Uh, what was this way? Remind me. Wasn't there... There was a person telling me, but he's gone. I forget what this was, this was called. Something about Tar. Tar mother, mud babies, many little Tars. Uh, you become impossible when you grow twice? Yikes! Oh dear. Is that true? You gotta grow once and occupy those spaces, grow again and occupy those spaces, then just start spawning and there's nothing I can do to get at you. Unless there's a Switch Tar Mud token which did not exist in this version of the game, so I'm not even gonna look for one under any of these or anything. So hypothetically, even if I were to race in here, I'm gonna grow once. I have to deal with all those somehow. Show me why this won't work. That's unfortunate. I should probably... St if I started at a different vertical position, I could plausibly make that work. No, no, I have the same problem there. Alright, so that was as quick as I could... That was probably not as quick as I could do that. But it was reasonably quick enough. I cannot... get away with that, can I? Let's see if I would win this race if I did. I would not. So I need to be one, two, three turns faster at minimum. 
All right. Efficiency. Let's try starting like this. Oops. I have saved at least one turn doing that already. Good. I don't think I want to turn my sword right now. Yep. Uh, hold it, I'm not sure about that move. No, this one's better. Great. Oh yeah, and I can put my body in there. Oh dear. I have a lot of time to deal with this thing, so I think that's okay. How do I do it, though? Where is safe? I could go across here again, but then I wouldn't be able to get all the way through there, so no. Well, that's how to do it. <laughs> ah! I need to swing the other way somehow. How would I do that? Uh, maybe this... Well, I haven't lost yet. I can do that, and then get some extra time. Okay. Great. Let's wait a moment. Alright, that worked. There may have been a more efficient way, but that was good enough for me. There were four more efficient ways. That's still pretty good. Uh, oh, that was only in the north branch. Whew. Okay. Well, I have the, the time to check out the... Or, that was only the south branch. I the have north time. wing is home to lovely challenge rooms. The north rooms are challenging, eh? Oh, we guarantee it. Man, he has some extra bass to his voice. Must have had a slightly different recording setup than some of the other games. Or maybe I'm just so used to the alternate Bethrow voice actor that this, this one just sounds extra good now. This is hard to look at. That's the only trapdoor in the room? Okay. Oh, uh, well, okay. One more there, sure. Uh, I see only one room. When he says the North Wing has challenge rooms, is this going to be, like, consistent between levels? The North Rooms are challenging. Okay. Guess I'll find out. So this looks like just a simple combat puzzle thing. Alright, so I gotta pick a sword orientation, then stick with it for a while. And kill a lot of tar babies. That was the wrong one, wasn't it? Yeah. Alright, well, there's only eight possibilities to this. Although, the move I choose there will make a big difference. Okay, so eight plus one, two, three, four, five possibilities of starting... Oh, hey. Well, no, that's not safe. And then there's a lot of choices here. If I were to go that way, I would die in the next turn after that. If I were to do this these would come up behind and kill me. If I go down here, that happens. Uh, is there an alternative? If I go over here, I'm safe from two sides. This is going to be a problem, but maybe I can deal with threats from other directions first and be safe. Don't like that. That's maybe okay. This feels pretty good, actually. This feels very good. I feel quite protected in this position. Problem is I can't swing my sword fast enough. And every other move, every move, any move from here is death. Okay. So that was better. Uh, let me just sort of look at where all my threats are coming from. 
every direction at slightly different times. Hang on, there's an order to this. It's like... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I can do like a whirlwind move. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Face south. Go this way. Do this. Ha 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 ha. Oh, that was pretty great. Yay! What's over here? A secret room. Not really a secret room, but a non-required room. There is no challenge in this room, unless there's some sort of scripted event with you. Hey, what's up? <laughs> a single point. A uniquely distinct entity. Okay. Maybe that will make more sense later. Alright. <laughs> Apparently I was rather inefficient about that. Up we go. Perfect two. Peter eyed the large number before him. Well, now, the first floor wasn't so bad. If all goes well, I'll be back in the road later today. Alright. And that was a perfect length of time. Uh, I'll pick it up here on floor two next time. This is shaping out to be very good so far. All right, I'll see you soon for more of this.